Well, just a few words to introduce that, uh, that PLA. Uh, I've uh, tried an exercise with which, which was, sorry, to challenge some of, our, of uh, our, the main issues of our strategic plan for a, a digital education in France with uh, the uh, European digital plan that was uh, released in uh, January 2018. And I tried to do this exercise, but I would like to start uh, by uh, setting the scene through uh, the following diagrams here which shows that is a, a diagram that I, uh, I took on from the Agence du Numérique in France, so it's French, uh, French figures, of course. The first one, this one here, shows that the general increase of the uh, personal equipment level and the access to internet follows the European trends, of course, with an obvious acceleration of using mobile device from 2012. Uh, that will not uh, surprise you, uh, of course. Uh, the second diagram here shows, same, in the meantime, we observe an increasing number of the young and adult population active on social works, social networks, sorry, and we have now reached uh, real integration of uh, digital practices in everyday life for communication, information, work, social and civic life and economy. To what extent that does this huge evo evo evolution, sorry, I'm a bit... Uh, concern the education area. And that is uh, here on that, uh, on that diagram here. We have a, an annual survey which is called Prophetic and you've got that on your key. Uh, if you look at your key, I don't remember in which file exactly it is. You will find the survey Prophetic. And uh, it's a survey that is led by the Ministry of Education and it points out that if teachers are not regular now, sorry, regular users of digital resources and tools when conceiving classes, students are not enough or still rarely involved in digital activities in class. However, if you look at the small green arrows on the right, we are improving, but we are not improving enough. It remains very modest, as you, we said before. And, uh, it is very modest on the, student on the student side because it's easy to see that the progression is very slow and that digital uses, uses in the learning process is, uh, re remains still very, very minor. There, uh, yeah, there has been, however, a deep changes uh, in, the, in the practices of teachers. We uh, work with a, a, very la uh, a very wide human professional network at the ministry, and we know that there are lots of teachers practicing with digital um, activities, but uh, we would like to target a larger scale of teachers using uh, this, di this technology. So that's why we have a lot to do. Even if we consider that we, uh, in the last... 20 years, we have had lots of policies to sustain teacher training, to bring equipment in class, to offer or to identify a lot of uh, digital resources for education. We have developed appropriate infrastructures. And if we look at the experimentations and research that enlighten these uh, practices, it still remains too modest. So uh, we uh, have a lot to do. We have a lot to do in France, but we have a lot to do together. And I've tried to go back to one of the slides that was presented uh, by, uh, I don't know who presented that, Rina, uh, Anuska, <laughs> during the last uh, webinar we had uh, online. And it seemed that the situation in France uh, fully echoes the one that is described at the European level. Uh, high standards of personal equipment and activity on social networks and on the internet in general, but a rather slow development of digital teaching and learning situation at the moment. So, so this is another of the slides that Anuska used. The opportunity Europe offers to share goals and to contribute to each other's reflection, this PLA is a good example, to discuss the main issues and deliver key messages definitely shows that the importance of being part of the community uh, and active members of that community is very important. So 
Here are the three pi priorities that uh, uh, the action plan, the European action plan address, addresses. And uh, I would like to show very quickly how we address these priorities through our action in France. So the first one, I've chosen six, uh, six, six actions sorry, to focus on and to give you a brief idea of how France contributes uh, to some of the issues of this um, uh, European digital plan. The first one is the, to support the rollout of high capacity broad, broadband in schools. The development of high speed networks is a priority of our government. It was, uh, the president has set the calendar on the 17th of January 2018, that's, that's very recent, obviously. And he said that within 2020, hello Perrine, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> Access to quality high speed level or very high speed level for all is, uh, is uh, targeted. Within 2022, equipping all the territories with high tech digital infrastructures and services is the ambition. So we have uh, cohesion and ambition. Under a program, and you've got a, a, a map here of France showing, of course, the territories in red are the, the one which are the very well equipped territories and the one in blue are going to be and the white one are not as, as well equipped as the other ones. So we have a program under, uh, led by the French Agency, Agency for High Speed Networks that says that 88,000 school, primary and secondary school in the white areas are eligible to a 5 million euro program to, that will allow them to be better connected. So this program is on at the moment. And of course, local authorities are very much involved in the, with the government to invest and to achieve that, uh, that uh, goal here and to cover the whole territories. The second uh, action I've chosen is the change, driving change in schools through self-assessment. So in echo to this action, I'd like to focus on the importance of involving executives, principals, inspectors, and school teams versus teachers in the, as individuals in the process of changing school. This should be achieved, I say should be, we are trying to achieve it through convergent actions, which are, uh, first of all, a self-assessment tool for schools uh, especially, which is called Opiné, that you can see uh, here on the left. It's uh, really like, uh, it looks like selfie. It's in the same uh, um, philosophy as uh, self selfie, of course. And uh, it's dedicated to assessment in a school and implementation of a global strategy in the school or on a territory as local authorities are vital partners, of course, of the process. So we try to uh, work, make work together partners, local authorities, school, and, uh, and teachers, and executive as well, and principal. The second point is the training plan for principals and inspectors that started last year, so that they become the leaders of the school transformation in which the digital environment is a key point. That's not so easy. We have to change minds a lot, but we are on the way to. We uh, suppose that this, this uh, great effort we are doing in the plans for training plans for executive and principals will uh, lead us to a, a very uh, a larger scale of schools involved in digital strategies. The third point is the resources to sustain the process. We've got a picture here of a, a new website we've just launched which is called La Fabrique d'Inspiration Numérique, in Digital Inspiration, huh. a lot to say, which uh, is designed to help uh, uh, schools, especially teachers, to imagine what could be done, what can be done with uh, digital in their schools. And uh, we hope it will help. So we try to uh, give lots of examples to these, uh, to the, these, these teams, these school teams. And last but not least, a framework for digital competencies for educators, teachers, and uh, 
educators in general, is being elaborated by a group of ex experts. It will point out an, uh, the how the digital environment changing the professional skills and acts. We are working in the um, in the, the process of uh, what is done at the Commission for the moment with the digital competence um, framework for educators, and I hope we'll be able to, la to launch it next year or at the end of this of this year. Of course, we've uh, we have been totally inspired by the DISCOMP framework, and the French adapted version is to be released in the school and university for adult, for school uh, students and adult training. Six domains, eight levels, just the same as the, the one, the DISCOMP. And uh, I would like to focus on the online free available platform PIX, which is, which is uh, open to all and proposes tests to self assess uh, and to assess and value skills. Uh, and competences. It has been developed in cooperation with the Ministry of Higher Education and with professional association so as to foster the digital trans transformation of society. <gasps> Our ambition is to make of PIX the referent assessment tool to uh, evaluate, to assess uh, the uh, digital competences. Uh, if you go to the second floor, you'll probably be able to meet uh, Benjamin Marteau, who's got uh, uh, a place where he can show you how PIX works. And if you uh, connect to the internet, pix.gouv.fr, you will be able to test yourself that uh, platform. Next, uh, of course, coding uh, is uh, the action that uh, you can see on that press photo it is one of the priority of our minister. Seven actions to promote the initiation of learning and proficiency in languages in general, with several projects allowing both the training of teachers and the production of examples of activities for the students. Uh, you've got a class code here, Déclic Numérique, École du Code, Déclic, and of course we are involved in the Code Week uh, as a lot of uh, countries here. And we've got lots of training courses on our training platforms, including the production by class code and declic of uh, initial programming based activities. Digital transformation, I, I told you that we had uh, Richard Galin Pierre-Nobis here in that room, which is a priority to mobilizing school to uphold the values of the French Republic. You've got here an extract from uh, the law that was launched, uh, the refoundation law in uh, 2013, and I think that's uh, that extract from the law is, uh, says what it wants to say, that uh, we consider that uh, it is the most important thing to develop considering uh, digital um, education. So 27 skills involved in the, um, in the uh, programs, in the um, syllabus from 11 to, to 14, the creation of school media in each school Agreement conclude, concluded with national education partners and uh, the action of the Ministry of Education that you will uh, meet tomorrow morning as they are going to show you their guide for parents, which is called uh, La Famille Tout Écran, the all screen family. They will be here to show you how they work on uh, uh, media information. Resources and online training session website and the famous uh, Twitter account, which is called eduscol underscore e -M -I, if you want to, uh, to uh, get uh, information about uh, what we do on that, uh, on that field. Foresight exercise on tr key trends arising from digital transformation. How does uh, the directorate tackle this issue on the perspective? We have a lab department which is called the Numeri Lab that coordinates working groups dealing with several main issues with the help of research teams and specialists of the dom do domain. We've got IA, of course, learning analytics, learning spaces. Uh, here, Archi Class is one of the last program that was launched, I think, uh, here at, uh, at EduSpot on, uh, on, of course, um, um, learning spaces. The lab also supports the implementation in the academies, 
well, we are welcoming here the Academy of Aix-Marseille uh, here, the uh, implementation of incubators that foster partnership between university research team, industri industrial clusters, and schools. And we now have, I think, 15 current incubators at work on the French territory. Well, last but not least, uh, the priority has recently been uh, boosted by the declaration of our minister in favor of inclusion. Inclusion uh, uh, focus on the uh, 300,000 disabled pupils that uh, are enrolled in regular schools in France. We uh, uh, since uh, 2005, uh, we uh, have a, a compulsory uh, law that, uh, uh, that asks uh, the ministry to um, integrate disabled people inside regular schools. So we, of course, had to adapt learning materials, to adapt learning spaces, to train teachers for that. And uh, as far as uh, resources are concerned, we can assert that the opportunity held by digital tools and resources is great. These pupils with special education needs are often denied access to uh, resources used in classroom. And uh, access to these resources for pupils with difficulties is most often achieved through the digital versions of, uh, of the resources after a specific tailoring, of course. So we'll be able to show how this issue has been central in the development of a quality offer or digital resources here in France. Patrice Renault will be here tomorrow morning. He's uh, in charge of that uh, very specific uh, file with uh, uh, Delphine here, if you want to ask questions to Delphine. But uh, I think we'll, you'll learn a lot about this tomorrow morning. And uh, you'll find, of course, more about all the things I've told you in the little leaflet uh, file that uh, you have got in your, in your bag here. So everything is in English, so if you have any question, you can, of course, ask any of us. Well, to finish uh, that uh, presentation first, uh, we have tried to represent what was uh, uh, the uh, perimeter of digital resources for education. And uh, I uh, encourage you to have a look at this uh, picture that will uh, be uh, f interesting to, to launch our uh, future workshop uh, within uh, half an hour from now. Well, now, let's start with the presentation, unless you have uh, questions. But in fact, we have no time for questions. So there, are, there will be no questions.